Women's Conference this year's uh, theme is Innovation and Solidarity, Reclaiming Our Birthrights Through Transcendence and Healing. So we're really excited to be here with you all tonight. We have a special treat for you. We are honoring Miss Anita Nadette. to have our family here in the house. I don't want to delay too much. We have a nice production for you, so we're going to get started. Thank you all for coming, and I'll see you after the show. Anita Lamberti was born into a family that loved to dance. Both her younger sisters took dance classes regularly, and Anita wanted desperately to go with them, but she was sent to Girl Scouts instead. From the time she could walk, Anita had been a frequent visitor to Lincoln Hospital in the Bronx, always falling and spraining or fracturing something. Her mom was simply afraid she'd seriously injure herself jumping around in tap or ballet class. It wasn't until she declared a dance minor at leaving college that she could pursue her lifetime passion. Although she took classes in the fundamental dance forms, the drums in Chuck Davis' Intro to African Dance class kept calling her back. Four times in all, followed by regular trips to Harlem to attend his classes at the Menacing Townhouse. And finally, an invitation to audition for his company. In 1976, Anita became a member of Chuck Davis' seminal American African Dance Company, acclaimed for creating themed ballets for the Western stage using traditional African dance forms, beginning her 40-year career as a performer, educator, and lifetime student of dance. Her smooth, articulate style became her signature in the athletic, high-energy field of African dance expressing her commitment to the meaning and feeling behind each movement. Anita performed with the Davis Company in national and international tours, yearly at the American Dance Festival, in Brooklyn Academy of Music's annual Dance Black America and its television broadcast, and in the founding performances of New York's Dance Africa Festival, among others. Anita became a founding member of Abdel Salam's acclaimed Innovative Forces of Nature Dance Theater, which created a unique fusion of African and modern dance forms. Invited to perform in Miami some years later, new dancers in the Forces Company expressed excitement meeting Anita after studying tapes of her performances to learn the finer points of Salam's movements. As an individual artist, Anita taught and choreographed for a variety of New York arts and community organizations, and met her stage manager husband performing in an original African ballet directed by Marie Rose Giraud, director of the National Institute of Arts of Cote d'Ivoire, becoming Anita Lamberti Macbeth. Upon migrating to South Florida in 1989, Anita found an African dance desert. Nowhere to perform, teach, or take class. Miami's community dance icon, Florine Lithcott Nichols, first took her in to teach and choreograph for her youth groups. She later partnered with musical drama teacher Lorna Lesperance to open Children of the Caribbean Arts Center in Broward County, an oasis for those committed, interested, and curious about Afro-Caribbean culture and dance to meet, study, and share. The studio grew and the community took notice, seeking lecture demonstrations, classes, and performances from her youth-oriented performance group, 
which also performed in Miami's first Dance Africa Festival at the Bayside Amphitheater in 1995. In the interim, Anita became a certified dance educator in the Broward County School System, where she has been nominated for Teacher of the Year and Arts Teacher of the Year on several occasions. She has continued to teach and choreograph for a number of South Florida arts and community organizations and programs. When her Children of the Caribbean partner retired, Anita was invited to Hollywood's Academy of Dance by owner-teacher Linda Strutz. The new location attracted drummers and dancers from a wider area of Dade and Broward counties, national and international guests. Her first adult performing group in the area emerged from this effort and made inroads exposing the community to African cultural dance. But Anita was most concerned with educating youth. And when the Academy of Dance became the Arts Academy of Hollywood, Anita formed the Children of Kawumba Youth Company, which graduated five generations of culturally aware young people who became artists and professionals of all kinds. Over the years, Anita has continued to contribute choreography and to perform occasionally with Devu Africa, traditional African dance company, and Venus Rising, all women's international fusion drum and dance company. Anita Lamberti Macbeth has been a dance stylist, choreographer, educator, and a pioneer sharing African cultural dance in the South Florida community. Unrecognized, and we need to start documenting our work and telling our own stories and recognizing our own people. So I make a very conscious effort each year. This is my platform, Air Dance Conference is a platform. Miami Dade College is a huge institution. And I make, I make a conscious effort to make sure that we're documenting the work of our people. That's really, really important. And the first time that I met Miss um, Macbeth, I think I was maybe 17 or 18 years old, and I was going to the Dance Africa Miami at the Gusman Theater. And I was like, oh my god, I see her, there she is. And so I moved away, had kids, got married, did that whole thing, and I came back and I found out that she was in Miami. So seven years ago, when I started Air Dance Conference, I've tried every single year to get Anita to teach an Air Dance <laughs> Conference. <laughs> Anita, can you please come and teach? Will you be able to come and teach? Offering her money, offering her time, you know, all sorts of things. And she's like, well, no, I can't do it this year. I don't think it's going to work out. And then finally, I said, well, we're honoring you this year. So she has no choice <laughs> <laughs> but to come and share the love and the magic because the history that she is holding at the vessel of her body, that history is incredible. I'm not sure if you all understand how significant she is as a human being, as a woman, to our community, and she's living here in Miami. That's huge. There would be no Dance Africa without Anita Macbeth. That's right. Um, th that's the truth, because she was with Baba Chuck from the beginning all the way to the very, very end and on to the continuum of it. And I am, very, I am deeply honored and extremely excited to honor her and to have her here with us. So with that being said, we have two uh, representatives, one from Delu, if, you're, if you can come forward, and a person from Venus Rising that would like to speak. Hi. Hi, everyone. <clears throat> I had to write something. I'm sorry. I'm a little bit nervous. I'm so excited. And um, okay, I'll just stick to this. <laughs> so, teachers come in many flavors. Uh, many teach with words. A few teach with words and actions, and even fewer teach by the examples of their lives. 
Anita Macbeth fits into the rare and beautiful third category. Um, and these are the teachers, I believe, who impact the most people in the deepest ways. And I bet there's quite a few of you who could attest to the fact that you've had your life positively affected by this woman. And I'm one of those people. So my personal tribute, uh, I have to take us back a decade <coughs> or two, <coughs> back when I first met Anita. And uh, it goes back to when uh, yeah, the Children of the Caribbean Arts Center was up and running, and when the Arts Academy of Hollywood was on Hollywood Boulevard. And I was a newbie, Jimbe uh, student. I was studying with Cedric and Brooks and um, Andre Crosby, and somehow I found myself in playing for Anita's West African dance class. And um, for those of you who may or may not remember the landscape back in those days, right next to the uh, Arts Academy was a men's clothing store. Yeah. And we had to wait to really start the drums and wait for the dance class to really get going until that store closed, or else the owner would come over and he'd be really angry and uh, he'd yell at us. And you know, drummers, we could never keep still, so inevitably we'd be making a lot of noise and he would come in and you know, there would be Anita every time, no matter how he was yelling and sputtering and whatnot, she was just calm, cool, collected, professional, um, as we all know her. Then uh, fast forward a few years when the, the Arts uh, Center moved to Harrison Street, a much larger, larger space, and oh, what fun we had there. And I learned so, so much uh, playing, studying, uh, just by the example of, of Anita Macbeth and not only did she ask everyone to bring their best self um, to the dance floor, but she demonstrated what that looked like by living her word, showing up ready to work, um, always going above and beyond, helping everyone else, raising everyone else up with her, and um, you know, just showing up to teach and dance as if that's all that mattered. Now I could gush on and on about Anita's amazing repertoire of talents that include not only dancer and dance teacher extraordinaire, but choreographer, and. Uh, costume designer, jewelry designer, clothing make and maker, potions maker, uh, potion maker uh, kombucha uh, uh, crafter, and uh, yogi. The list goes on and on and on. But um, anyway, a renaissance woman, if there ever was one. So on behalf of my personal journey, on behalf of all your Venus Rising sisters, and on behalf of the huge community that you have impacted and inspired, uh, we thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, may your star always burn bright and bring back to you all the joy that you so uh, beautifully share with the rest of the world. Ashe.
deeply respected and honored, and we love you so much. And so we have a few tokens of appreciation that we'd like to give to you. If you can please come forward. <laughs> So, Miss Anita, <laughs> yes, ma'am. From the bottom of my heart, in the depths of my soul, I want to say thank you so much, and I really deeply appreciate you. And we love you in this community, and we are very proud of you. And we want you to continue to do the work that you do. Thank you. <laughs> College Kendall Campus Air Dance Conference 2018 presented to Ms. Anita Macbeth in recognition of her, your outstanding achievement, contribution, and professionalism to the world of dance in Miami Dade College Kendall Campus. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.
I should like to help everyone if possible. Jew, Gentile, black man, white. We all want to help one another. Human beings are like that. We want to live by each other's happiness, not by each other's misery. We don't want to hate and despise one another. In this world, there's room for everyone, and the good earth is rich and can provide for everyone. The way of life can be free and beautiful, but we have lost the way. Greed has poisoned many souls, has barricaded the world with hate, has goose-stepped us into misery and bloodshed. We have developed speed, but we have shut ourselves in. Machinery that gives abundance has left us in want. Our knowledge has made us cynical, our cleverness hard and unkind. We think too much and feel too little. More than machinery, we need humanity. More than cleverness, we need kindness and gentleness. Without these qualities, life will be violent and all will be lost. The aeroplane and the radio have brought us closer together. The very nature of these inventions cries out for the goodness in them, cries out for universal brotherhood, for the unity of us all. Even now, my voice is reaching millions throughout the world, millions of despairing men, women, and little children, victims of a system that makes men torture and imprison innocent people. To those who can hear me, I say, do not despair. The misery that is now upon us is but the passing of greed, the bitterness of men who fear the way of human progress, the hate of men who will pass and dictators die, and the power they took from the people will return to the people, and so long as men die, liberty will never perish. Soldiers, don't give yourselves to brutes, men who despise you, enslave you, who regiment your lives, tell you what to do, what to think, or what to feel, who drill you, diet you, treat you like cattle, use you as cannon fodder. Don't give yourselves to these unnatural men, machine men, with machine minds and machine hearts. You are not machines, you are not cattle, you are men. You have the love of humanity in your hearts. You don't hate, only the unloved hate, the unloved and the unnatural. Soldiers, don't fight for slavery, fight for liberty. In the 17th chapter of St. Luke it is written, the kingdom of God is within man, not one man, nor a group of men, but in all men, in you. You, the people, have the power, the power to create machines, the power to create happiness. You, the people, have the power to make this life free and beautiful, to make this life a wonderful adventure. Then in the name of democracy, let us use that power. Let us all unite. Let us fight for a new world, a decent world, that will give men a chance to work, that will give youth a future and old age a security. By the promise of these things, brutes have risen to power, but they lie. They do not fulfill that promise. They never will. Dictators free themselves, but they enslave the people. Now let us fight to fulfill that promise. Let us fight to free the world, to do away with national barriers, to do away with greed, with hate and intolerance. Let us fight for a world of reason, a world where science and progress will lead to all men's happiness. Soldiers, in the name of democracy, let us all unite!
Linux, given that Linux is quite complex subject. I don't think that there's one specific type of masculinity, and I don't think that society actually recognizes that there's a diversity of masculinities out there. As I mentioned, I feel that if you the strong man um, who does not show emotion, the one who's strong, the one who is the leader, it's um, physical attributes in the life. Um, we should not be like, for example, um, I look at myself as a very small man, like, <laughs> honestly. And um, obviously, like, society sees, in this case, see a more part masculine man as more of a man than see me. One of my friends, someone that I, I thought was a good friend of mine, and he said, if I had a son and he was gay, I would beat him until he becomes a man. And it broke my heart because for me, that said to me that, you know, his perceptions of what a man is and his perception of what a homosexual man is was so different. You are the prisoner.
you are the prisoner. You frame the ground and remember to come to the world.
woke up in the wilderness today, a place my mind could not remember, but my soul already knew. No longer searching for a steady breeze, there's soil on my skin and salt water in my blood. A descendant of God, I feel as if I am sunshine with a pulse. Rivers of milk flow from me, and I watch as entire kingdoms bow. All the children are here, barefoot in the morning, and the dirt is rich with many treasures. Vamos a la playa, you are free to transcend, you are free to be creature, and you are free to bend.
Thank mm-hmm. you.
side. Excuse me, pardon me. Excuse me, just coming through. Ooh, I'm so sorry. Excuse me. Yes, thank you. Yes, why you turn your head? Wait, I... Oh, you trying not to get a flower? Is that what it is? <laughs> Hi there. I would like to give you a flower as well. Yeah. And a pen. Thank you so much. So where, you're welcome. Now I have one left, but I have to keep it, okay? No one else can get a flower tonight. But I love you. I love all of you. Oh, that smells so good. It smells so good. So I'm from Pepsi-Cola, Florida. And I grew up in this church. It was Bethel A.M.E. A.M.E. African Methodist Episcopal. We were the spaghetti Negroes. So we would sit on the pew and not do anything at all. We would hear, 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 and just sit. If you could clap a little bit, but not too loud. Not too loud. Sometimes the spirit just 
on, people, you know what I mean?
that's the way it was. Now it's this whole thing about, it's a lot of sugar coating, I feel. A lot of beating around the bush to get to the real issue, you know? Mm -hmm. I find that that's just a waste of time. I like directness. Debutante balls. <coughs> Paul Bears. Mm. So many funerals. Pound cakes. Yes. You can always look forward to after the funeral. There's plenty of pound cake after the funeral. I think we're ready. I think so. We need one more story. <sighs> Shall we choose? <laughs> How are you? What's your name? Hubert. Hubert. Why are you talking Hubert. 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 I'm Paranika, by the way. And I'm Michelle. Nice to meet you. Hey, everybody. <laughs> Hubert, everybody. Hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. Backstage, and 
I know you have stories. You have so much to tell. My babe, I've got a Okay. I'm moving on to the back. To the man in the pink. A real man wears pink. Bring it. What's your name? Michael. 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 Where are you going? It's not church. Michael is from Michael. Oh, it's not church. Birthday boy. Come on, birthday boy. It's your birthday? Yeah. Did you get cake? Okay. Oh, it's your birthday? Oh, there's no more napkins. I don't need it. Watch my favorite. Woo! <laughs> we would love to hear a story from you. A story. Birthday boy. Happy birthday. And they're both ready. I do have a story okay. about this movie. So I don't know if you remember this. This was about four or five years ago, and you performed, God forgive me if I pronounce it wrong, Kahina. Yes. Here for the first time in front of me anyway. Okay right here outside these doors. Mm -hmm. And there was this one move that you did. What's that? Again, it's four or five years ago, so. You might have to demonstrate. I might have to. Um, <laughs> you did this. Yes. Oh, yeah. Uh, was she sitting? No. Show me what she She was standing and she had well, now you use um, bottles, but you had egg cartons, and you went up and you did this, mm -hmm. and it shook me to my core. Oh, <laughs> because for the first time really? in a long time, somebody saw me, and it shook, oh. and I was shook. <laughs> and that's my story. What did you show them? No. <laughs> Boosted my adrenaline. Okay. And it got me <laughs> shook. <laughs> 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 and that's my story. And that's your story. Okay. Well, there's this thing that my grandmother and my mother and my aunties and all of them used to say. It was the answer to everything. Everything. They would say, you need to go someplace and sit down. <laughs> Take your behind over there and, and sit, sit down. down. Thank you. Thank you.
Francis. I can't let you pass these gates until you answer three questions. Now, all right, thank you. Give me your best shot. Okay, Francis. Question number one. How many seconds are in one year? Oh, man, St. Pete, that's easy, shot. Twelve. <laughs> How did you get 12 exactly, Francis? Met the same way you got 12, Chef. January 2nd, February 2nd, March 2nd, etc. Francis, that's not quite what I was looking for, but I'll let you slide. Question number two How many days are in one week? God damn, don't say Pete, that's the easiest one, Shaq. Two. Wow. <laughs> now, Francis, where exactly did you get two from? At the same place you got two from, Shaq, today and tomorrow. <laughs> Once again, that wasn't quite the answer I was looking for. This is the last question. You have to get it right, or I cannot let you into heaven. All right, St. Pete, give me a best shot, Chef. Who is our father? Miss Don't make that the easiest one, Chef. Howard. My God. Where did you get Howard from, Francis? Maybe the same place you got Howard from. Our father, who art in heaven, Howard be thy name. <laughs> Oh, 
Thank you very much. Have a great night. Thank, Thank you all. You.